A new era in chemistry begins. The 100-year-old rule has been broken. Chemists have managed to break a rule of organic chemistry that has been accepted for 100 years. The findings are expected to contribute to the development of new drugs. Organic compounds called alkenes contain at least one carbon-carbon double bond. Each of these carbon atoms usually lies in the same two-dimensional plane as the other atoms to which it is attached. According to the Brett rule, proposed by German chemist Julius Brett and accepted since 1924, it is not possible to form double bonds with bicyclic molecules. This theory was based on the fact that the structure of anti-Brett or bicyclic molecules does not allow the atoms to lie in the same two-dimensional plane. According to Brett, trying to form double bonds and alkenes with this structure would destabilize the molecules and cause them to cease to exist. However, in the study published in the peer-reviewed journal Science on Friday, November 1st, scientists showed that it is possible. Chemists from the University of California, Los Angeles, USA, added molecules that interacted easily with the anti bread alkenes to counteract their instability. This trapped the unstable ones and removed the other molecules. The scientists eventually demonstrated that the Brett rule was not true by synthesizing three-dimensional anti bret molecules. If there is a rule that says something is absolutely impossible, then maybe the right way to solve it has not been thought of, says Luca McDermott, lead author of the paper. And if you do, it might not be as hard as you think. The team, who also explained how to trap the anti bret molecules in the new study, expect this to play an important role in drug development. There is a big effort in the pharmaceutical industry to develop chemical reactions that produce three-dimensional structures like ours, adds Neil Gard, another author of the study. They could be used to discover new drugs. The researchers plan to synthesize more compounds with unusual structures in the future. If we can question and push the Brett rule after 100 years, there are probably all kinds of other rules waiting to be re-examined, Gard says.